Hi, I'm Vera Ludwig, a researcher currently based in Philadelphia. Thanks for watching my channel. Today I will show you a short interview with Izzy Abraham Rapeson, a Philly-based sex educator. But before I do that, I wanted to briefly dive into the science around sex education. People differ widely in terms of what they think is appropriate to teach children and adolescents about sexuality and their bodies at different ages. And this may also depend on culture, religion or where people are located, for example, in urban environments or on the countryside. And of course, there's often strong feelings associated with this topic, because after all, this is about what is best for the young ones in our society. What does science say about this topic? I found one article that I found particularly relevant. It's a recent review article by Goldfarb and Lieberman. They looked specifically at the effects of comprehensive sexuality education, so in line with Izzy's approach, as you will see in the interview in a moment. So comprehensive sex education takes a broader approach to sexual health and it includes topics such as values, beliefs and attitudes around sexuality, anatomy, physiology, biochemistry of the sexual response system, thoughts, feelings and topics around relationships. So it's a more inclusive, broader and more positive approach to sex education. That is in contrast to more traditional approaches that focus more on preventing pregnancies and sexually transmitted infections. So the authors looked at 80 studies that investigated the effects of comprehensive sex education and they found various very positive effects of comprehensive sex education even in quite young children. Of course we always talk about age-appropriate sexuality education. Outcomes included prevention of dating and intimate partner violence, development of healthy relationships, prevention of child sex abuse, appreciation of sexual diversity, so for example reduced homophobic bullying, improved social emotional learning and increased media literacy. So this study suggests that comprehensive and affirming positive sex education is very beneficial for young people. With this said, here's the interview with Izzy Abraham Rapeson that I conducted at the Consent Fest in Philadelphia. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this. Hi, Hi. this is um, Izzy, the executive director of YES. So what is YES? YES is a nonprofit based in Philadelphia, we're very small, that provides anti-oppressive, consent-based and pleasure-focused sexuality education to people of all ages. So we work with little, little ones. I've been a preschool teacher, so I love doing workshops with three, four, five-year-olds all the way through elementary, middle, high school, college. We work with parents about how to talk to kids about these issues. We work with teachers. Um, we do trainings and we also work with healthcare providers and just also education for the general public of adults. So wow, all kinds of things. We have a podcast and we um, okay. do also like virtual and online resources. Why is it important though to do that? Yeah, oh why my gosh. Do, why do we have to do it and how do we have to do it? <laughs> yeah, so we have to be talking to all people about their bodies and um, all the different ways, all the different pieces that entails, right? It entails identity, um, health, body image, relationships, sex, masturbation, pleasure, abortion, pregnancy, all of these pieces, right, just are part of having a body in this world, right? And not talking about it doesn't stop people from experiencing it. That's it just stops people right? from experiencing it in a positive, healthy, normal way, right? It causes it to be shameful and taboo and hard to talk about. And shame is one of the most destructive things that people can feel. Um, it makes people really unsafe. And it's just really tragic how many people are growing up disconnected from their own bodies, um, disconnected from their own selves. And so, yeah. yeah, it's just about being honest and making space for conversations about parts of ourselves that are here mm -hmm. and happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's actually risky not to talk about it, Absolutely. right? Like, because, yeah, they are going to get confronted with it earlier or later and they are either going to be prepared for it or not, for example, to draw boundaries or to know what's going on because at some point, uh, yeah, right. things awaken and, uh, yeah. Then right. you have to you have to deal with it, right? Definitely. And we're here at Consent um, Fest right now. And consent is not just about sex, right? Consent yeah. is a, from birth, every single person is dealing with navigating boundaries, navigating um, comfort and discomfort and um, relationships with bodily autonomy and respect. And so there's just clearly no age that's too young or too old for that, right? Yeah. And you probably make it age appropriate, right? Absolutely, right. Yeah. right. I really believe that there's a way to answer any question a kid asks in an age appropriate way. Um, so it's just about really following the kids lead and yeah. not putting an adult perspective on yes. it. 
and I just saw your uh, one of your volunteers uh, was showing really with little uh, toys of the um, ovaries. And yeah, right. We have anatomy toys. How pregnancy mm -hmm. works, and you can, yeah. And the kid was really curious. It was just like a playful and and right. wonderful way to explain it. And I'm sure that the kid wasn't harmed at all. Quite no, to the I mean kids have ovaries, so how can it possibly be harmful to talk yeah, to them about ovaries? Just, uh, and all kids came from ovaries. It's just, yeah, it's so normal. And kids are so excited to think about where they came from and how they were created. And it doesn't have, like, it's really an adult perspective to say that that's sexual, right? Yeah. Like, reproduction isn't inherently sexual for a five year old who's curious about where they came yeah. from. That's yeah. really us putting meaning onto it that's not there. Yeah. Yeah. The, the pleasure focus, I, I recently read there's a, there was a big study showing that if you talk about pleasure in sex education, it actually makes people more likely to uh, use condoms, etc., and to, to take good care of their sexual health, right? Mm -hmm. Because you acknowledge that people are actually also doing it for pleasure amongst other uh, Totally. Sex for yeah, and for us, pleasure also extends beyond that to like the whole range of just like being in tune with our bodies, knowing how to get physical pleasure, whether it's sexual or not, right? Like, like being um, in our bodies enough to feel the pleasure of the sun on our skin and all of these yeah. things and knowing how good our bodies can feel um, because pleasure is one of like the most important things in life because we get to feel good, right? Feeling yeah, good yeah. is what life is for, right? Yes. Um, feeling yes. good with our communities in ways that are good for, for everybody. And so um, when we say our work is pleasure focused, it means that all of the topics we talk about, we talk about um, how they can help us feel good. So when we talk about consent, rather than focusing on what does it feel like to be violated, right? Or like the fear of mm -hmm. violation, we talk about how good does it feel to be respected, right? I how good that. does it feel yeah. when someone hugs you and you want that hug? I um, love that. And the Those same thing with that. like our actual classes are meant to be pleasurable, right? We play games and we eat candy and we yeah. have like ideally comfortable seating and like, you know, have like a pleasurable experience together mm -hmm. while talking about this. So Wonderful. that's all part of it. Thank you. So How can people reach you? Is there yes, a website? there is a website, yourempoweredsexuality.org. You can contact us at contact at yes to consent.org. You can also follow us at yes to consent on Instagram and Facebook. We love to Yay. hear from people. We do workshops um, on request. So if okay. anyone's school or organization wants to work with us, just reach out. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking thank the time. Thank you so much.